what time it is, because the view is live. Batch Lash? How the online past of one Bachelorette contestant could be coming back to haunt him. Brazen Hill. Clinton tears into how the Democratic National Committee botched her campaign. But is she playing the blame game? Then Grammy-winning phenomenon Chance the Rapper talks about blazing a brand new path to hip-hop stardom. How Michelle Obama became a fan and why he's not playing politics. Plus, Tony nominee Ben Platt talks about going from pitch perfect to the hottest ticket on Broadway in Dear Evan Hansen. Let's fire up Hot Topics with Whoopi, Sunny Hostin, Joy Behar, Sarah Haynes, and Jedediah Bila. Now, let's get things started. Some of our co-hosts have chosen sides for tonight's rematch of the NBA Finals between defending champs the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors. It tips off live tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern here on A B C. <laughs> And unfortunately, as LeBron James prepares to play in his seventh straight NBA final, mm -hmm. he has to deal with being the victim of racist graffiti scrolled on his home. Here's what he has to say about it. Racism uh, will always be a, a part of the world, a part of America. And, um, you know, hate, um, you know, in America, especially for African American, um, is, uh, is living every day. And even though that, you know, that it's concealed most of the time, no matter how much money you have, um, no matter how famous you are, no matter how many people admire you, um, you know, being, being black in America is, is tough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you think this will show people how far-reaching racism, racism still is? You think people yeah. don't know? I, I mean, th I think there are people that don't know. I think I have had conversations with people that will say to me, you know, racism is dead. That's a thing of the past. And I'm always saying, no, it's not. I hear, I've heard, com I heard comments about President Obama. I heard people make, com I hear people make comments all the time, unfortunately, <laughs> that I'll hear. And it bothers me because it feel, I feel like that sentiment should be something that's a thing of the past. But until we acknowledge that it's not dead, we're not going to be able to eradicate it or face it. And I give him so much respect for his composure in that moment because to have something <coughs> deface your home with your children and inside. remind you of a time in history where it was okay for people to say things like that and to have that level of composure I commend him for that I don't know you that know, I would have been able to do what he you did know he that said video. that it doesn't matter if you're famous and, and wealthy and everything yeah. else I think it's because he's famous and wealthy hmm. a lot of people who are racist are low-level thinkers they're low-hanging fruit as we say mm -hmm. and I think that they're actually jealous that a black guy could achieve so much in his life they, they they treated Obama the same way how dare a black man be in the White House how dare he when I'm a low-life imbecile and I can't do it it's jealousy. I believe anti-Semitism is very much yeah. based on envy and jealousy of a people who achieve so much and you can't. And so this is how you lash out at these That's people. Interesting. I, I never thought about it that way. I will say, since being on this show for season 20, I have received more hate mail calling me the N-word than ever in my career. They called uh, you a newsmaker? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's so <coughs> hurtful. Oh, honey. When when it's when you you get it and it's so hateful and and I, I keep on wondering is this a result of the loss of civility that we talk about no, just, all just, the time? No, well, it's, well, listen, racism has been institutional in this country. Let's start with Let's that. Let's remember okay. where we started. What? That's 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 how this began. Yeah. And so it, 
I don't know what it is. It's just what people do. And if you have anything to say, we have now an internet that allows people to say anything they want <laughs> yeah. to you directly. And it's horrible. It's interesting, but though. But you read it. Since, yeah, but you know what, yeah, Sonny? Why, I, I, I why do. be hurt by it, Sonny? Why not just deflect and say, you are stupid. You people are moronic. Well, it's hard. I, I, it's, I it's, it's, it's hard, hard not to be hurt by when, no, when someone hates you because of the color of your skin, something that you cannot control because of your race, it makes me, it's, it's scary. Yeah. And it's actually, it scares me for the world that my children are inheriting. Remember, I am Your raising are in this a black world, baby. boy, well, and a black girl, and it's, it's, it, it scares me as, as, as well, a mom. Well, you know what? As it, what should happen, what should be happening is you should be explaining to them <coughs> the foolishness of how I this have works. To, I, I that, have to. Well, it's that's, my duty. I, I, I know. Yeah. But you, you being afraid doesn't help. These words... Those words are meant to stop you yeah. in your tracks. Right. They're meant to stop you. They're meant to make you unhappy. Those words, young people took that word and said, no more. We're not going for that anymore. Mm -hmm. you, we have to let this stuff go so that when somebody calls you one, you turn you say, you talking to me because I don't know any. I've never been one. Yeah. Okay? That's what you have to do. feeling about race to me was I was just watching this Larry Bird Magic Johnson 30 for 30 and then I had of course seen the OJ mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. In both instances <coughs> while I was watching I found this moment where they were trying to describe the level these people reached and they said they weren't even black anymore. They were and I thought huh? Mm -hmm. And they were saying that <coughs> people at a time when it was they were very judgmental about the race of the, they they had to see past the color to appreciate them to honor them mm -hmm. and I remember thinking what? Like I had to think about that for a while and, and in both instances they were that's how they got their point across was these people were beyond black well, let me say this though um, it, it's interesting because I, I keep on asking myself why is it happening so much more at least to me the southern a southern poverty law center reported that its count of hate groups in the country since the election and uh, it has increased for the second consecutive year and they've also found that uh, think pros, uh, progress found since the election there were a total of 261 documents documented incidents of hate, 41.7% uh, 41 of the incidents were connected to the election of Trump and against African Americans. Well, when you, you know, African Americans, uh, black well. people and Muslims and women, look, you know, here's the bottom line. No one's going anywhere. Yeah, Americans true. come in all shapes and sizes, all colors. <coughs> we're white, we're black, we're yellow, we're red, and none of us are leaving. So either you get with the program and recognize that gay people and straight people and people of all different colors are not leaving this country. The reason people are here is because this is one of the few countries on the face of the earth where you can be who you are and nobody's going to take that away. We'll be right back.